We're now being joined by the governor of uh, Ondo State, live from Akure, on the News at 10, Dr. Lushengu Mimiko. Well, quite an impressive sea of heads we see there in uh, our, uh, you know, in politics. They say not everyone you see in campaign rally is actually out there to cast their ballot for you. Does that worry you at all? Does not worry me, as a matter of fact, what you have just seen. These people represent just a fraction of those that will vote for me on October 20. What you have just seen is a testimony to the fact, or what I call empirical evidence of sorts, that in the last three and a half years we have delivered on our promise to the people of Ondo State. Our people are enlightened, they know their rights, they are very proud people, they will not turn out singing, dancing with joy if they're really not convinced about why they should do so. So for me, this is a reflection of victory. Victory for us is around the corner. Um, I'm very confident. And even if you are familiar with Undo State scene, I say this with all sense of modesty, each time I come out to inspect projects, within five minutes you think I've organized a rally. That is the extent of synergy or the connect that we have with the people. And this is because we are working for them. We are addressing their everyday concern. We are converting policies into programs that touch the life of our people. I'm excited about what I saw today. I have no doubt in my mind that that's a reflection of what October 20 will bring. Well, we've always talked about uh, strongholds when we talk of politics here in Nigeria. I remember the Edo State uh, election, we also were trying to analyze uh, strongholds. Uh, was it uh, actually strategic? You go into our knowing full world that uh, one of the uh, opponents uh, in this particular election is from Owa in your state. This may sound unreal, but let me tell you that everywhere is stronghold for me in Ondo State. From the north, from Mifor or War, down to Igbokoda, all through. Because in the last three and a half years, we have spread all our programs to the nooks and crannies of the state. We have demonstrated that the government can serve their interests in a very equitable manner. So for me, everywhere is stronghold. Yes, or War is the hometown of the ACN candidate. But for me, it was hope, and um, we don't have any doubt that we will win in even in the war with a landslide. Is your party nursing any fear? Because now we see the party national chairman asking the government uh, at the center to uh, bring uh, as much as 5,000 uh, uh, soldiers. Why soldiers? I think the point the national chairman is making is that security is very, very critical in this election. Uh, the Edo example has shown us conclusively that with security, and if you can ensure free and fair election, that there will be peace. Edo election has been applauded by everybody, both at home and abroad, and a critical element of the Edo template is that there was security, adequate security. They mentioned 5,000 soldiers. That's a symbol of, I think the chairman is making the point that we need adequate security. 5,000 soldiers, why not? That would also include 5,000 police um, men. We have 3,000 plus units, and we expect that every unit must be adequately manned. And we also have a large, large riverine community which has its own security challenges, so we expect also that the peculiarity of the terrain must be taken into consideration. But there's no question about the fact that we must have security. Security in every unit and all over the state. Restriction of movement. The Edo template has proved conclusively that we must leverage on the advantage of staggered election to ensure that we secure every state properly in election as a very important variable in having free and fair election in Nigeria. So I'm one with the chairman that we need adequate security for the election of October 20. Well, finally, preparations uh, towards uh, every election is key here. Remember also a very sad uh, 
uh, commentary in the Edo State election was the uh, boat mishap where INEC officials and some ad hoc staff kept, uh, were drowned. Knowing that we have so many uh, riverine areas in Ondo State, uh, are you aware if uh, the umpire has made adequate arrangements for that uh, particular election? For now, I don't know about that. Um, perhaps it's too early to talk about that. But I expect that INEC will learn from their due experience to ensure that areas of gaps in arrangement will be filled when they get to Ondo State. I expect them to appreciate the peculiar terrain of our riverine communities and make adequate arrangement. For now, I would not hasten to make any comment about INEC arrangement, but I expect that they will ensure that in Ondo State, the arrangement will even be better than the Ado State, as the one they had in Ado State.